How's it going everyone? I hope you're having a wonderful day. In today's video, it's going to be more of an informative video, teaching you some tips and tricks on song starting, how to start your songs, help give you some inspiration on how to build the idea you're working on, stuff like that. There's nothing worse than sitting in a studio for five hours and you can't come up with any ideas. So I hope I can help you out and give you some tips to start your songs. Let's get straight into this. <laughs> So this is actually a very powerful tip. It actually took me up until last year to actually start using this to its full potential. And it's actually just starting with the build up, just dragging some snares, start getting the build up going, start adding some risers, some extra effects, sweeps, and then it will actually help you build into the drop and it'll actually give a lot more momentum to build the drop. So what you just do is you grab some snares like I've done here. Pretty basic. And then what you do is you add Endless Smile is a very, very good one and you slowly build it up. I'm doing a Julian Jordan technique here where you cut off that beat there. So what we'll do is we'll go up a little bit by like 25% and then we'll go up. Like I said, don't do too much because it will be pretty prevalent of you're using Endless Mile. You wanna keep some sort of um, originality to it. So now it will you build up. You can add any sort of EQ or whatever. I use Fruity Simplon or fab filter simple on sorry and i'll do a low cut so i'll just create an automation clip of this and then i'll do the exact same thing so it'll go like that and then we don't have to cut it off here and then we'll just go up and it'll take off the low frequencies as well and then what we'll do is we'll add some effects some risers just to build up the tension build the energy going maybe even add a, a build up vocal and then add a pre-drop vocal and that will lead you straight into the drop that can give you some inspiration some sort of motivation to build a drop and it's just a very powerful tip so yeah that's number one i'm going to add some effects just to show you what it will be like and then i'll speak to you afterwards so i've added a few extra sounds here i've added a couple risers and effects some rising sub bass and some weird reverb plug from a tommy Jaden pack i've done a very signature julian jordan jamaican shout thing where halfway through the build up you'll have a jamaican shout Put up here, see ya, see ya, see ya, see ya. and then it builds up i've added a little altar boy to Pitch it down a little bit, make it a little weird. It's also in the same key, which is F sharp. So now if I play it. And if you add a little fill and a pre-drop vocal here, that will give you a perfect momentum to start working on the drop. So that's a very, very good song starter technique. I highly recommend it. I've been using it a lot. I've been working on a lot of track recently. I've been using this exact technique. So that is tip number one for song starting. Now I'm going to move on to tip number two. So tip number two is to actually grab a random vocal. This could be from Splice from an existing song, a song you wanted to remix, stuff like that. You could even use, for example, Revealed released a Revealed Radar acapella pack a few months ago from some of their songs from their free download radar releases so you could even use them work around them this does not have to be the final vocal for your track this is just a filler vocal to give you an idea having a vocal makes it extremely easy to build chords rather than just using a piano or a pad on its own so for example here i have a vocal from cara from splice you actually recognize this from sabers using it in their song called take on the world the original one sounds like this we are the universe so beautiful So that is what they used. I think all they done was pitch it down three. We are the universe. And then that actually turned into their song. And then all we have to do is add some simple effects because this has been compressed and mixed already. There's just no reverb and delay on it. I just added a sound goodizer, an EQ, and a delay and reverb. And that sounds like this. We are the universe. So beautiful. Through all of the hell. And then for example, if we were to add a, a nice low drone reese bass, for example, like this one here. We are the universe, so beautiful. Through all of the hell we'll stand. You can get a bass line down, add some chords, and then you'll be good to go. So I'm going to add a simple bass line and we can see what we can come up with. So what I've come up with is very basic. Just got the simple reese bass I had earlier, added a chord up and just a simple melody. So I'm going to play you what I have. And this is just a simple idea of how to get a break going, how to start your song. So this is what I have. We are the universe, so beautiful. Through all of the hell we'll stand. Invincible, so beautiful. We'll take on the world. 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 
and I've continued it on for another eight bars, and at the end there's a taste stop effect, and I've pitched it down one octave. <laughs> which is exactly what Sabres does in their track. So then, so for example, we wanted to add this build. This is in F minor, this is an F sharp minor, so I pitched it down to actually fit. So say we added this here right here, and now we played it. Of course, the build-up doesn't really fit a big room type of vibe. It's more of a, like I said, a Julian Jordan style build-up. So it doesn't really fit very well, but it's a, just a general understanding of what you can do. Start the build-up, add a vocal, get an idea going, add the two, and you can work on a drop, and then you have a solid foundation of your track. So now I'm gonna show you one more tip to start your songs, and then I'm gonna continue this part on my video on Friday. I'm gonna show you some tips how to make melodies. So I'm gonna show you one more tip, and I hope you enjoy. A quick bonus tip, which is actually very, very helpful, is don't be ashamed to actually use Splice and use other external places to find loops, presets, and stuff like that. If you didn't know, Splice had their own MIDI section, so you can actually go through onto their MIDI tab and go through and find a specific genre, like for example, Synthwave, UK Grime, Indie Rock. You can just go through and just pick one. For example, look at Spinning Records already. So of course, as you may know, MIDI information is just notes, so when you drag this in, it won't sound like that. But what you could do is add it to a different sound of your own, change the key a bit, maybe change two or three notes before you know it. it's sort of your own. You've changed it in a slightest of way so it still makes it unique. Then you could go through and use Splice Sample Pack. So for example, if I wanted to go on genres and let's just go on trance, we could try and make a, some sort of big room trance song. Let's just go through and you just pick a random. This one here, Trance Elevation Volume 3, it's a very nice one. See, already that sounds very good. So say for example, we just downloaded this and then we dragged it in. Of course, it's not matched to our tempo. As you see there, I just pitched up the melody I made from the vocal, added it onto this, and it created a whole different vibe. It had a trancey vibe, it was sped up, it was a different key. So it's just a really good way to spark inspiration and get an idea going. So my final tip is just to use things you've never used before. There's a lot of features inside FL that you probably didn't even know existed, and there's a lot of basic stock plugins that are very, very good. So I've just come up with this chord progression here inside a piano from Keyzone Classic. Very similar to the song Fire, Martin Garrix alias. For example, you could add a simple plugin which a lot of people don't know exists. Oli James uses it a lot, Sabres, Kevo uses it a lot, and it's called Effector. I'm going to turn this down because it can get very loud, but there's a very, very specific one that everyone uses, and this is, this is a Vox, which is, implements a vocal onto your sound. <laughs> yeah. And then you can turn down the dry wet signal. And you can make an automation of the Y parameter and the X parameter. And then what you could do, which is a feature not a lot of people know, is you can go inside FL, click the wrench tool, and then these features here create an automatic arpeggiator without you having to click in the notes and spend three minutes drawing the individual notes. Now you can add a bunch of different effects. You can even go on and just layer a bunch of effects. Like you wouldn't normally put a chorus on a piano, so why not add a chorus? And then you can just add random sounds, random effects onto your plugins, and it'll just create a unique effect. But yeah, I hope you learned something from this. If you combine all three tips I gave you in this video, you could create multiple tracks. You could create a track that could be sidebar revealed or spinning. Just the most important rule is to have fun whilst you're making music. If you're having trouble when you haven't got any inspiration, take a day's break, take a week's break, take an hour's break, however long you need. Don't be frustrated that you can't make music. On Friday, I'm going to continue this and make another video of tips and tricks how to create memorable and creative melodies. 
and I'm also going to work on a small drop here and if it turns out good I'll give the FLP out for free on my video on Friday. If you learned something smash the like button I really appreciate your time and watching the video and yeah stay safe and I'll speak to you all very very soon. Take care and have a wonderful day.